Oh, you're... What's going on, everyone? As always, I hope you're having a great day, and welcome back to the channel. So this week, I thought it would be fun to showcase some of the hardest-hitting drummers in the world. Because, why the hell not, right? Who doesn't enjoy a good top 10 list? Or, I don't even know if I can really get this down to a real top 10, but... We'll see what happens here. But hopefully nobody gets too heated in the comments section, so please behave yourself, you bachis. Because every time I do a video like this, there's always some people in the comments who are like, hey, you forgot this drummer or this drummer. So this time I gave you guys the opportunity to speak up. I used good old social media and I asked you guys to vote on who you think are the hardest hitting drummers out there. And thank you guys for doing all the work for me. I didn't have to do Jack Shittington. No, I wish. I'm just kidding. I did have to sift through thousands of your comments and votes and tally the names and pick the lemons and lick the limes. It did take me quite a bit to figure out a good list here. And we gotta have some honorable mentions too, right? It was hard for me to even narrow down this list at all because you guys dropped so many amazing drummers at me. It was actually 25 drummers long at first and got kind of painful to start taking people off because I want to include everybody, right? There's so many great drummers. And big shout out to my wife for helping me count a lot of your votes as well. There's still going to be complaints though. <laughs> there always are. I don't even like making these lists anyways, just because I don't want to fuel any arguments between some of you chodes. But you know, some of you actually get on the internet for the sole purpose of looking for an argument. You sick bastards. I also feel like this list is pretty subjective. I mean, just because one drummer hits harder than another drummer doesn't necessarily mean that he's a better drummer, right? I don't even like saying that one drummer is better than another, but we can have our favorites though. But in this case, today, we want to see those drummers that play their effing hearts out. And before we continue, it's time for a quick word from this week's sponsor, Manscaped. If you haven't heard of Manscaped, they specialize in grooming and hygiene for men. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna show you guys the Weed Whacker. This is a ear and nose trimmer. If you sometimes get long nose hairs like I do, then you know how painful it is when you go to pull them out. It's almost as bad as getting kicked in the balls. So Manscaped spent an entire year designing the Weed Whacker. It's got the same skin safe technology that their lawnmower body trimmer has, and this helps reduce snagging and tugging. And it's water resistant. If you can tell, it's on a 23 degree angle as well, and this is to match the natural ergonomics of your nose. And I'm pretty sure this is the only nose hair trimmer on the market with a cordless rechargeable lithium ion battery that lasts up to 90 minutes. When you select the Peak Hygiene Plan with your purchase, you'll get a replacement blade sent to your doorstep every three months, so when you're whacking those weeds, you're keeping it clean. Just do it. Trust me, my wife hates when my nose hairs get too long. Oh, yeah. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SAMUS at manscaped.com. Thank you, Manscaped, for keeping our pubes trimmed and noses free of weeds. Oh, you're... Oh, ow, my penis. All right, guys, let's start this list off with number 10 here. Everyone's favorite drummer, Lars Ulrich from Metallica. Some of you are gonna hate, but he's one of my favorite drummers from one of my all-time favorite bands, and clearly a lot of you guys put his name in the comments. Metallica! Oh, yeah. Definitely one of the most hated drummers on the planet, but I don't care, I fucking love the guy and I would eat his poop. And you can't deny that when Lars was in his prime, he was definitely one of the heaviest hitters out there and nobody could touch Metallica's live performances. Oh. Ah. Next up at number nine, we've got Vinnie Paul. Vinny is best known for his drumming for the legendary metal band Pantera, and oh, your he hit those drums pretty hard. You can even tell just by listening to his recordings that he played with power. And with his other bands too, like Damage Plan and Hell Yeah, he, he did not hold anything back. And Vinny, you left us too early, my friend. Rest in peace, you drumming machine. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Coming in at number eight, Dave Lombardo. Another one of my favorite drummers, Dave is best known for his playing with Slayer. His playing style is extremely aggressive and this really helped give Slayer their signature sex. And Dave doesn't just hit hard, he's pretty fucking fast on top of it. And the way he puts dynamics and accents into his fills too, super innovative and it just sounds much better to the ears compared to a non-dynamic fill. For example, he wouldn't just go He would add some dynamics, still 16th notes, but it would be so good. He's also known as the godfather of double bass. Oh, oh you're... For number seven on the list, we've got Nils Fjellström, AKA Dominator. 
This guy is fucking insane. He's not the hardest hitting drummer compared to everyone else on this list, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone play as fast as he does and still hit that hard. He really leans into it when he's playing and you can just feel the intensity and power of his whole body behind those blast beats and fills. And he's played for bands like Dark Funeral and Aeon, so you know this dude is serious about his blasting. You might have seen this clip, but if you haven't... <laughs> So much. Ugh. He is too good, man. So amazing. Okay, next up, number six, Gene fucking Hoagland. As far as a lot of people are concerned, Gene not only hits hard, but he's just hands down one of the best metal drummers in the world. The amount of bands he's played with and filled in for is just crazy, and he just nails pretty much everything that's thrown at him, and it makes it look easy on top of that. And the first time Gene ever sat behind a double bass kit, it was in fact Dave Lombardo's kit. And apparently when Gene sat down to try it, he blew Dave's mind and Dave started asking him for tips on double bass. How cool is that? Yeah, blast! Hell yeah, that's my daddy. Number five, Brazilian drummer Achilles Priester. I first heard of Achilles when I was 16 years old, I was still in high school, and Anger's Temple of Shadows album just came out. One of my band buddies burned me a copy of the CD, and he's like, dude, you gotta listen to the drumming on this album. I did, and I was immediately blown away, just by the first track. Blazing fast double bass, the power metal beats, and really, really cool drum fills instantly became an inspiration for me. And it wasn't until years later where I actually saw a video of him playing, and I was like, dude, holy shit. First of all, the size of his amazing drum set, and second, he hits hard. He hits so hard that he always has to have chewing gum in his mouth when he's playing drums to absorb some of the shock to his head every time he hits the snare. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but that wouldn't surprise you, would it? <laughs> so sick, dude. Okay, we're at number four here. And you know what I realized? I don't think I saw a single comment voting for a female drummer, so I'm gonna cut the list here and throw in one of my favorites, Juna. You might recognize Juna from my top 10 female drummers video, and if not, she's fucking great. She has excellent chops and hits pretty damn hard. Her first YouTube upload was only four years ago, and she's gotten 20 million views on her channel since then. Whew. And she doesn't just play the drums. She plays the drums, you know what I mean? Really digs into it with her such explosive energy almost makes you feel the same excitement that she's feeling when she plays. I definitely recommend checking out her Dragon Force cover. It's great. <laughs> Dude, this is genius. <laughs> That's great. Oh boy, we are down to the top three. These last three were definitely the top three voted for on my socials, and it's not hard to see why. Number three, Dave Grohl. The best thing about Dave Grohl is well, who am I kidding? He's like a god at everything. <laughs> He's just one of those people who were born to play music. Amazing songwriter too, like, holy shit. There's a reason everybody knows who Dave Grohl is. And when you watch him play those drums, he's playing with his soul. And he's inspired millions of people around the world to pick up a musical instrument, so that says something too. He said he knows he's not the most talented drummer or anything like that, but when he's playing a show, he will get into it and smack those drums so hard that when he's done, everyone in the audience will be looking at each other like, dude. Did you see that fucking drummer? Oh, you're... Even in 85 with with his first band, still fucking going nuts, and he's playing a fast punk beat there. <laughs> it's time for drummer number two! Mario. Mario is not only one of the hardest hitters out there, but he is extremely creative when it comes to his beats and fills. He can and will blow your mind with his playing. Not to mention, his double bass is also incredibly precise and consistent. Really one of those players who is able to express himself through drumming and make it an art. Definitely one of my favorite drummers right now. He's just so fucking good. How could he not be? Super creative, man. 
All right, here we go, you guys. Are you ready for the number one tona? This really shouldn't be a surprise for most of you. The number one voted heaviest hitting drummer in the world, Eloy fucking Casagrande. When you watch Eloy play, you almost can't even think of what to say. He's just hands down one of the best drummers I've ever seen. He is so good that thrash metal legends Sepultura picked him up as their drummer. So how about that? And he hits so hard, it's almost funny. It's like the drums killed his parents or something. I have not once seen a video of Eloy drumming where I was like, meh. It's always like, uh, holy shit. And he's always right in the pocket. I don't know what else to say, man. Eloy is a weapon behind the drum kit. Every time he hits his snare drum, I can feel it all the way up here in Canada. He also performed a drum solo at Modern Drummer Festival when he was only 14 years old. Just incredible, phenomenal, well-deserving of this number one spot. See right here, you can see the snare is just moving every time he hits it. I, I, I can't even say. Dude, uh, uh, holy fucking balls. I, 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 Eloy, dude, we are not worthy. <laughs> All right, you know we gotta do some honorable mentions, right? Let's do some quick chode clips. Pete Weber from Havoc. Oh! Tommy Lee from Motley Crue, he hits pretty damn hard. <laughs> Travis Barker, Blink-122, we gotta give him some love. Anoop Sastry, he is quite the powerhouse. Tommy Aldridge, he's played for Ozzy Osbourne and Whitesnake. My boy Krim, oh yeah. Alex Rudinger, another incredible drummer. and Morgan Rose from Seven Dust. All these guys are amazing drummers and you should go check them out if you haven't already. There was even more that I wanted to include in here, but just didn't want it to get stupid long. Wow, and I just realized that we didn't include a Slipknot drummer on this list. Yeah, uh, Joey Jordison and Jay Weinberg definitely deserve to be on here as well. They do hit pretty hard. And sex. So that's gonna be all the time we have for today, ladies and Bach and Glockens. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it introduced you to some new drummers to listen to. And if not, then, uh, well, I guess I'm just the world's biggest Bach. Thank you all so much for watching. And this concludes our broadcast gape.